What's up you guys? Sit down and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to talk to you guys today because um, I wanted to just kind of clarify my last video. I had a lot of like messages and emails talking about how uh, people were discouraged at the fact that, you know, their GPA is not where it needs to be to actually apply to PA school. And by no means was that mid video meant to be discouraging. Okay, so let's just get into this video right now because I do want to give you guys a little bit of encouragement all right most of you guys so like i was saying like the video was not meant to be discouraging at all it really was meant to be kind of like a reality check so at the end of the day getting into pa school is not easy it's actually pretty difficult um you're kind of competing against thousands of people for small amounts of spaces in terms of like the seating that and that cohort that that particular program is allowing to enter in for the upcoming year and so it can be difficult but just because something is difficult doesn't mean that it's impossible and so um i just wanted to make that that clear because that is like the the really like one thing that you guys kind of need to hold on to when it comes to your GPA like I said the standard across the board is usually a 3.0 there are some schools that have a 2.75 some schools that have a 2.7 as their minimum and there are some programs that say that they don't have a minimum GPA at all and they're just looking at like various different things. So some schools might look at the last 100 credits or 60 credits. And like I said before, I would go. And like I said before, I will go into that a little bit more in depth in one of my next upcoming videos, but I did want to let you all know that there are options out there for people that have a low GPA that they're trying to overcome. So when it comes to overcoming a low GPA, you may have to look at those schools that have a GPA of um, 2.7 if your GPA is like a 2.9, you know, or uh, if your GPA is in the one, so you're like a 1.9 for your undergraduate GPA, you're definitely going to have to look at schools that look at the last 60 or 100 credits because then that will negate some of the bad choices or um, bad scores and grades that you got early on in your undergraduate career. So it's going to be a lot of work. You're going to have to do a lot of research. You're going to have to, you know, actually like sit down and plan and be like, okay, like, yes, I may live in Washington, but I may have to go to school in Tennessee because that is the school that best aligns with my stats. This is very much about like, you making choices in terms of the statistics that you have with respect to what the school is requiring as well so this is not by any means meant for you again that video was not meant for you to be discouraged it's meant for you to actually just have a reality check and honestly i want you to be encouraged to do the work because if you really want to get into pa school you're going to have to do the work and when you get to pa school you're going to have to do even more work to complete pa school um, because you're learning a lot of information so that you're able to at some point in the next near future save lives okay so it's important so I just wanted to put that out there. Like I said, I will make a more in-depth video on some of the schools that I found that kind of fit into those categories, but you're just going to have to take time to do the work, do the legwork, do the footwork to actually like be competitive and be able to, you know, actually meet the requirements to apply to PA school, uh, especially if you have a low undergraduate GPA that you're trying to overcome okay so hopefully this video helps if you guys have any other questions for me go ahead and leave them in the comment section below don't forget to like this video and subscribe follow me on Instagram at on PA and on Instagram at get that C university thank you guys so much for watching I will talk to you guys next time bye